Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. What another beautiful and awesome day today to always be in the presence of the Lord. Another day right now to give him all the thanks right now, to give him all the praise right now, and to give him all the glory. Today is the day that the Lord has made, and every last one of us should always be glad and always rejoice in it. We serve an awesome God. We serve an amazing God. We serve a powerful God. We serve a God who is the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. We serve a God who can never change his mind. He can never leave you, nor forsake you. He will never turn his back on you. But the main thing, Jesus will never lie to you. And he will never fail you. Even though it seems like things not working out. Even though you might not understand what's going on. But best believe, my brothers and sisters, Jesus got your back all the way to the very end. You can take that to the bank. I say Jesus has your back all the way to the very end, and you can take that to the bank. He got you, my sisters. He got you, my brothers. He got everything under control. He is running this whole show by himself. He don't need nobody help, and he sure don't need nobody else's opinion. He got this. He knows exactly what he was doing when he created you, when he formed you. Our job is that we, that we need to continue to trust him and say, Jesus, we might not understand what's going on. We might not even understand where you're leading us to, where you're taking us to. But glory to God, we trust you. Glory to God, Father God. Help us to have patience with you, Father God. Help us to understand your timing, Father God, not our timing, God, and let your will, not my brothers, not my sisters, not nobody else will, but let your will be done. That's why I'm always encouraging my brothers and sisters that praise is an everyday thing. It's not an on and off switch thing. It's not a seasonal thing. It is an everyday thing. But go to God we serve, the God we praise, he watches over every last one of us and he has us in the palm of his hands and he is working everything into his perfect will. And if you have not welcomed the Lord into your home, to your life, or even your prayer closet room, and if you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus, I want to encourage you right now today, please do so. His arms are open wide. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. And he is so worthy. Yes, he is. He is so worthy to be praised. Amen? Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father God, our Father, we just come before you right now today in the mighty name of Jesus. Give you all thanks today. Give you all praise today. Give you all glory. We just thank you, Heavenly Father God, for everything that you've done and everything that you're doing. We thank you, Heavenly Father God, what's taking place right now today. We thank you, Father God, how you're working on our behalf right now today, Father God, that how you are the one that's in control and that you are the one in charge, Father God. We thank you, Father God, because today is the day that you have made. We're so glad to be a part of it and rejoice in it. We thank you, Heavenly Father God, because you make all things new each and every day, Father God. We just thank you, Father God, just to be in your presence right now. We thank you, Father God, for your grace and your mercy. We thank you, Heavenly Father God, for your love, God, because you are a loving God. We thank you, Father God, for how patient you are with us today. We thank you, Father God, for this word that we better receive, this powerful message right now today, Father God, that's going to hit home today, Father God. It's going to hit our spirit today, Jesus. It's going to hit our soul right now today, Jesus. We just thank you, Father God, that we can always talk to you about everything, Father God. We'll open up our hearts to you right now today, Father God. And your words that were two or more gathered in your name, glory be to God, that you are in the midst. So, Father God, we know in the midst of this prayer right now today, God, that you are right here in this huddle with us right now, that you are holding us tight right now today, God. And, Father God, even you see us slipping, Father God, please grab us by our hand, God, and put it on your rock, Father God. Oh, Father God, open our eyes. Let us see what we need to see from you today. Open our ears so we can hear whatever it is that we need to hear from you right now today, Father God. Oh, Father God, you the one that got everything wrapped up in your hands, Father God. And Father God, whatever it is, God, that we are going through what we're facing, Father God, we're putting in your hands right now. Father God, you have total control of my brothers. You have total control of my sisters. And you have total control over me. 
Oh, Father God, we're so thankful, Father God, just to be in your presence right now today. We thank you, Father God, for the blessing that we're going to receive, the breakthrough we're going to receive, the miracle that we're going to receive this season. We thank you, Father God, how you open up doors for us in this season. We thank you, Father God, for the rain that's going to rain down our heart in this season. We thank you, Father God, how you're going to put us at the right place at the right time in this season. We just thank you, Father God, for the connection, for the resources, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, this is your time, this is your moment. Did I know for a fact that you're about to show up? Did I know for a fact that you're about to show out, Father God? And I believe and I declare, I decree right now today in the mighty name of Jesus that someone's going to be healed today. Someone's going to be delivered today. Someone is ready to give their life over to you right now today, Jesus. And the angels are rejoicing in heaven right now today. And you will and you shall get all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Heavenly Father God, this is your house. The house that you built on solid ground. The house that you built on solid foundation. The house that cannot be moved, shaken, or bothered. Heavenly Father, all but Father, you are welcome right now. You're invited right now today to enter to the house of the Lord. Right here in your sanctuary. Right here on your YouTube channel. Right here on your platform. Right here in my sister's homes. Right here in my sister's life. Right here in my brother's homes. Right here in my brother's life. Heavenly Father God, I'm asking you in your name right now today, Father God, for you to do a new thing in my brother and sister's life right now today. I'm asking you right now today, Father God, for healing for my brothers and sisters. I'm asking you right now today, Father God, for restoration for my brothers and sisters. I'm asking you right now today, Father God, to grab my brothers and sisters by the hand right now today, God, and lead them and guide them and direct them, Father God, whatever it is, God, that you want them to go, Father God. Over him, the Father God, I'm asking you right now today, Father God, to move supernaturally in my brother and sister's finances right now today, in their health right now today, in their dreams right now today, in their business right now today, in their neighborhoods right now today, in their relationship right now today, in their marriages right now today, in their families right now today, in their jobs right now today, with their children right now today. I'm asking you right now today, Father God, for you to do a new thing in my sister and brother's life right now today. I'm asking you right now today, Father God, to send them the help, Father God, what they need right now Right now today, Father God. Listen to their cry right now today, Father God. Please do not turn that deaf ear to my brothers and sisters right now today, Father God. Oh, Father God, I believe and I declare right now today, God, that you are sending them the help that they need right now today, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for the door that you are opening for them right now. We also thank you, Father God, for the door that you have closed. Oh, Father God, we know that it's done right now because we, we claim it right now and we receive it right now today in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, you're welcome right now. You are invited right now today to enter to the house of the Lord. Right here on your YouTube channel, right here on your platform. Right here in my brother's homes, right here in my brother's life. Right here in my sister's homes, right here in my sister's life. Holy Spirit, I am asking you to intercede and intervene right now. Holy Spirit, I am asking you to comfort us right now today because you are comforter. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to move through this place like you know, move before so we catch the Holy Ghost fire right now today. Oh, Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to touch every last one of my brothers, touch every last one of my sisters right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to do something like you've never done before. And, for, and Holy Spirit, we know that you are right here in the midst of this prayer right now today. Heavenly Father God, please forgive us for our sins today, known and unknown right now. Wash us through your blood right now. Clean it as white as snow. Heavenly Father God, I want to say thank you right now today for forgiving us for our sins. Thank you, Father God, for not remember our sins anymore. Thank you, Father God, for the clean slate. Thank you, Father God, for the opportunity. Thank you, Father God, for coming through. Words cannot explain how thankful, how grateful, how honored, blessed I am, Father God, to always pray, praise, and have fellowship with all my brothers, all my sisters today, one body in Christ. Heavenly Father God, I'm here today to let you know that I'm available for service. I'm available for the kingdom, but most of all, Jesus, that I'm available for you. Heavenly Father God, before I get started, it's something that's always in my mind about you. It's something that stays in my spirit about you. It's something that stays on the fruit of my tongue, the fruit of my lips about you. And now I've got to tell you how I really feel about you, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough, 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 Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. That's why I praise you the way I do because I can't thank you enough. That's why I glorify you the way I do because I can't thank you enough. That's why I magnify and I shout out your holy name the way I do, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I put my heart all that to you every day, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I'm in love with you the way I am, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. I just 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 can't thank you enough. Glory, hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. And if you're ready for God's word, let the church say amen. Glory be to God. Today's word is, you are qualified, my sisters. You are qualified, my brothers but you're not giving yourself the credit and you're not believing in yourself that you are qualified. 
And that's where a lot of your frustration is coming in right now, today, my brother and sister. You're not aiming high enough. And the Lord wants you to aim high. He don't want you to aim low. He don't want you to aim, aim midway. He wants you to aim high and believe that you're qualified. There's nothing too hard. There's nothing too difficult for God. There's nothing that he can't do. He don't care what man is telling you. He don't care what the world is showing you. Jesus is speaking to you right now today, my sisters. Jesus is speaking to you right now today, my brothers. And he is reassuring you right now because he has the only thing that you are qualified. But he wants you to believe in him. Trust in him. But he wants you to aim high. And a lot of times when we get frustrated, we get frustrated because we're waiting on God for something. We're believing in something. We're trusting in something. But most of y'all frustration is you're not aiming high enough. You already disqualified yourself before you even give yourself the credit for the job. And Jesus said he don't care what that job description is saying. He don't care if that job description is saying that you got to have a PhD, an MD, or whatever kind of D on there. He don't care what he's saying. He said that you are qualified for that position. He don't care how much that house costs. He said that you are qualified to get that house. Bad credit or no credit at all. I don't care if you're making one dollar or you're making a million dollars. He said that you're still qualified for that house. That car that you want, the moment you see that car, you see the press tag, the first thing came and come in your mind, you say, I can't afford it. That's too much. But Jesus said, you can't afford it, and you are qualified for that car because I own that car. I created that car, and I made that car, and I want you to have that car because you deserve that car. When Jesus said that you are qualified, that means Jesus has already took recognition of your situation and your problem and your circumstances, my brothers. The Lord has been recognizing you from day one, and he recognized who you are. He recognized your qualities. He recognized your character. He recognized your spirit. He, re he recognized your well-being. So if Jesus is recognizing you, and he's telling you right now today, and he's giving you reassurance right now today that you are qualified, why are you not being qualified for yourself? Why are you disqualifying yourself when Jesus is qualifying you? Stop disqualifying yourself because you see something. You automatically take yourself out of the race the moment you see what the situation is. Don't take yourself out of the race. Put yourself in the race. Run for it. Believe that it's yours. He don't care what kind of job you got. If that's your house, and you know that's your house? He said, go ahead and apply for that house. Don't look it like you're going to be denied. Jesus said, I'm not going to deny because I have took recognition of you. And what you don't have, Jesus said, I will. Oh, help me this thing, Jesus. He said, I will provide. I will give you the rest. I will send that help to you. If you qualify, if you tell yourself that you are qualified for that house, Jesus said, I will give you the rest of it. If you tell yourself that you are qualified for that car, Jesus said, I will, I will help you get the rest. Jesus said, if you qualify for the job, go ahead and apply for that job right now today. Go and put your, go and put your resume on Indeed right now today. And I will make sure that you get recognized. He will make sure that you get the recognition for that job. But the moment we see something, we get afraid. We get frustrated and say, oh man, why so and so people get the good houses? Oh, why so and so get the good job? So and so get the good education? He's not impressed by the good jobs. He's not impressed by the, by the education. He gave every last one of us a gift. And his words say, he will make room for that gift. He didn't say that one time that you got to have a, a perfect education for that gift, man, did he? He didn't say that you got to come from Beverly Hills for that gift to be recognized, now did he? You can come from the slums, you can come from the projects, and he still will make room for that gift. But you got to believe in yourself and stop disqualifying yourself. You bring a lot of frustration on yourself, my sisters. You bring a lot of frustration on yourself, my bro your brother, because you're not believing in yourself and you're not aiming high. You're too busy aiming low. And God said, when are you going to believe that I can do all things? Jesus said, when are you going to start trusting me and know that I can make something happen? He said, when? 
He said, what you aiming at? He said, that's not it. He see you all on the internet looking at that car. He said, but ain't it? He see you all on Zillow looking at that house. He said, but ain't it? He see you all indeed looking at that job, that mediocre job. He said, but ain't it neither. He said, you aim high and believe in me and know that you are qualified for that job. Know that you are qualified for that, for that, for that house. Know that you are qualified for that car. He said, I'm going to make it happen. He said, I'm going to make it happen. But you got to do your part too, my sisters. You got to do your part too, my brothers. You got to meet Jesus halfway and stop disqualifying yourself before before even take off. Because that's what that's exactly what a lot of y'all are doing right now today. You are automatically taking yourself out of the race and you're disqualifying yourself before you even say, before you even think about it, before you even pray about it. You say, oh, they ain't none of me. They want you to have a master degree. They want you to go to college three or four years. I don't have but a high school diploma. He said, they ain't it. He said, I made that job. I created that job. If I put that job right there in your spirit, that means I want you to apply for that job. He don't care what that job description is saying right now today. He wants you to apply for it. He don't care how much money that you make a year, and that's your dream house. He said, go ahead and put your application in right now. If you know that's your dream car, he don't care how much money you make per week. He said, go ahead and go ahead and sign up for that for that car right now. He said, let me do the rest. Let me do the rest. If you do your part, my sisters, and if you do your part, my brothers, Jesus is going to do the rest. But you got to start believing in him. You got to start trusting him and know that it happened. But you got to know for a fact. You got to know for sure that you are qualified. You ain't got to wait for the man to tell you that you're qualified. Jesus is telling you right now today that you are qualified. Point blank period. Jesus is telling you that you are qualified. Stop looking at the descriptions and let the description fill your way from what Jesus is telling you that it's already yours. Too many of y'all right now today, you're running from things that it's already yours. You go hide from things that is already yours. You get frustrated for things that is already yours. But Jesus said, if you aim high, you'll know what I'm going to do. And I don't know who I'm talking to today. I don't know who I'm preaching to today. But you got to stop aiming low. You got to stop disqualifying yourself. And you got to start saying, I am qualified. I don't care what that job is saying, I'm qualified for that job. I don't care what they said about their house. I'm qualified. I don't care what that car knows saying. I am qualified. Somebody need to put that in their spirit right now. They say, you know what? I am qualified. Tell yourself right now today, I am qualified. Despite what the world is saying, despite what the internet is saying, despite what the description is saying, I am qualified. Because Jesus has qualified me. He has took notice of me and he has recognized me. So if he said he took, if he recognized me and if he had took notice of me, that means that I'm qualified because Jesus is the only one that the only say so. He made the whole, he run this whole show by himself. He made all the rules. Not man and not the world, but Jesus, your heavenly father, God. He said, believe in me that I can do it. If you start believing in Jesus that he can do it, you'll start aiming high. Too many of y'all say, oh, I believe in God, I believe in God. Do you really believe in him? Because if you really believe in him, you'll stop disqualifying yourself and start qualifying yourself. If you really believe in him, you'll go apply for that house. I don't care if it's a million dollar house. I don't care if you're going to make a $30,000 a year. If Jesus said that you're qualified for that million dollar house, that million dollar house is yours. Jesus don't care what that job is saying, that you can have a three or five year master degree. If Jesus is telling you that that job is yours and you qualify for that job, you are qualified for it with a high school diploma. Jesus don't care what that car payment is saying, if it's $2,000 a month, if it's $5,000 a month. Jesus don't care if you don't bring about a, a $800 a month home. He said that you are qualified. Start believing in yourself and start trusting in Jesus and telling yourself right now today, I am qualified. I am qualified. That would qualify me. That Jesus had took recognition of me. 
and he has recognized you, my sisters, and he has recognized you, my brothers, and he is reassuring you right now today that you are qualified. Stop disqualifying yourself and start qualifying yourself. Amen? Amen. So let's turn our Bible to Ephesians chapter 3, and we're going to read verses 20 through 21. That's Ephesians chapter 3, and we're going to read verses 20 through 21. And if you have your Bibles open, let the church say amen. Glory be to God. Now to him who is able to do more than we all ask for. I ain't got to preach no more. He just gave me his word. He just gave me his promise. And he has told you again that you're qualified. This is what the word of God is saying. He said, now to him who is able to do more. You hear that word more? That means he don't want you to aim low. That means he wants you to aim high. High as you can ever go. He wants you to aim right there. And when you aim that high, he wants you to believe that's what it's going to be. When you qualify yourself, he wants you to know that you are qualified. Because he said he want to do more. More, I mean, he want to give you more than what you asked for, more than what you prayed for, more than things that you didn't even ask for, but you got to start telling yourself that you are qualified and stop telling yourself that you're disqualified. Are you following what I'm saying? Glory to God. Now to him who is able to do more than all we ask or imagine. Woo! You know that word? Imagine. Imagine. Jesus said that you are qualified for a $50 million home but you don't bring home but $10,000 a year. He said, imagine it. He said, when you imagine it, he wants you to believe it. He wants you to tell yourself that you're qualified and he don't want you to deny yourself and he don't want you to disqualify yourself, but he wants you to imagine that it's already yours. He wants you to believe that it's yours. He wants you to trust that it's yours and he wants you to say, thank you, G, because I know it's mine. Even that job, they starting out at $100,000 a year, even though it's asking for a degree. But Jesus said, imagine, imagine that job is yours with a high school diploma. Imagine that job is yours with less than a high school diploma. He said, but qualify for that job because the job is yours. Tell yourself I'm qualified. Tell yourself I'm more than enough for that job. Tell yourself I, have the, I got the, the great leadership skills for that job. But Jesus said, imagine that it's yours. Then he said, ask yourself, is there anything too hard for me? Oh, glory be to God. He's speaking to somebody. He said, look at that car right there. Look at that Bentley Coupe right there. Look at that Bugatti right there. Imagine that you're driving in that Bentley. Imagine that you're driving that Bugatti. Imagine that you're riding that Phantom, but you work a McDonald's job. He said, but I created that Phantom. I created that Bugatti. I created that Bentley. I designed it from head to toe. I don't care how much that car costs. I don't care how much that car is worth, but Jesus said, if you can imagine that it's yours and believe it and believe that it's yours, and you tell yourself that you qualify for it, he said, imagine it and it's yours. Then he said, ask yourself, is there anything too hard for me? Oh, he's speaking to somebody right now today. Somebody should be shouting right now. But you gotta start telling yourself that you're qualified for it. Are you finding what I'm saying? Imagine. According to his power that is at work with that is at work within us. To him be glory in the church and the Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and forever. Amen. Imagine, according to his power, because his name is power. And there's not too hard for him. There's not too difficult for him. Jesus has never disqualified you, my sisters. Jesus has never disqualified you, my brothers. So why are you disqualifying yourself? Jesus is telling you right now today, the point I'm making, that you are qualified. So if Jesus is telling you that you are qualified, say, imagine that it's yours. And believe that it's yours. And trust that it's yours. And know for a fact that it's not too hard for me. Know for a fact it's not too difficult for me. That I can make all things happen. That he is working within you, my sisters. That he is working within you, my brothers. That he is working within seven minutes of LT right now today. Because I'm qualified. You are qualified, my sisters. You are qualified, my brothers. I don't know who the Lord is talking to today. 
But I believe today this word is going to move to somebody's spirit right now today. This word right now today is going to hit every home, every television set, every radio station around the world, around the globe, around the universe right now today. Stop disqualifying yourself when Jesus said that you are qualified. He don't want you to aim low. He wants you to aim high. And if you know that the Lord is talking to you, and this word is for you, and you know for a fact that you've been aiming low, and the reason why you have not gotten a lot of things because he is telling you, that ain't it. He don't want you to have that mediocre house. He don't want you to have that mediocre job. He don't want you to have that mediocre car. He wants you to have the best of the best because you are qualified for the best of the best. Amen. Give God some praise right now. I say give him some glory right now because you are qualified. And if this word moved you today and it touched your spirit today, go and hit Jesus like button. Go and hit the subscribe button too as well. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into our life to guide us, direct us, and use us. And I believe right now today in the mighty name of Jesus. But I was praying a simple little prayer that God is already working everything out in our life right now today. And if you ever want to get in contact, you'll leave me a comment. My YouTube channel is withers.l2. Always keep Jesus first place. Always seek him. Always honor him. Always keep your eyes focused on Jesus because he is the author and the perfecter of your faith. Continue to trust him even though you don't see things happening. Continue to hold on to his unchangeable hands and please do not let it go. Continue to pick up your crosses and follow Jesus. Choose faith over fear. Always continue to pray for your fellow brothers and sisters. It doesn't matter if you know them. It doesn't matter if you've seen their face. Prayer help and prayer changes things. I'm always going to keep teaching y'all in prayer, my brothers and sisters. The only thing that I ask y'all guys to do for me is continue to keep me in prayer and keep me lifted up too. I'm seven minutes there too. I love y'all. Stay blessed. In Jesus, glory to my name. You are qualified. Amen.